All right, here's a Jeff with AZ Hot Homestead. Welcome aboard. This is another video. I'm in like a video mood, I guess, maybe. Because I did for, did some of the water tank. I did, I don't know, I forget what else I did. Anyhow, I'm going to show you this. This is a Dometic free, fridge freezer that came with it. It's, it's only it's like 7 cubic feet overall. And... This freezer has been going on for 13 hours. So 13 hours. All I got in here is just some ice. I don't know how well this is going to show up. But as you can see. Well, it's at 10 degrees. <laughs> it was at below 10 when earlier when I looked at the fridge. <laughs> Look at that. Where's that one at? See, same thing. That was at zero, and the and that one sitting on the ice was actually below zero. Now, the reason why it doesn't show that at this moment is because I literally just a couple minutes ago opened it up and had it open and looked at it and and all that. Now I'm like, oh, I got excited. Let's do a quick video. So I did the video, and now the temperatures are warmer. Let's just check the fridge real quick. Let's see, in the door of the fridge. Thirty what just like thirty-two degrees or so in the door of the fridge. Now the way these work, for those of you who don't know, the top where that right there is your cooling element. And it will cool down, and the idea is that cold air drops. So really, that is your coldest spot right there in the top. That's your coldest area. I know, no beer. And then here, I don't know how well this is going to show, but that little white plastic piece, believe it or not, that's a thermostat. You raise it up high, it makes it cold. You drop it down low, it makes it warmer. So, I wanted to show you this because it's on propane I can make it electric if I want but right there is how I turn it on and off if I press the button in it's electric if I have it out see how that's kind of like out a little bit right there that little dim that little logo thing and the check just means it's checking when it first starts because it takes does take battery to uh, light the uh, to light it, even though the pro and then obviously turn on the propane. So, but kind of cool. Just wanted to show you this. I think this is a twenty six fifty two, and uh, so far it works out pretty good. I think I think my ice. The inside temperature was about when I got here. The inside temperature of the fridge freezer was about 82 degrees and within within well within about six hours or so it was already showing zero degrees inside and uh, the ice was just forming and that had uh, dropped down to below 40. And that was in six hours, and they both were at about 82, 80 degrees. So that's not too bad. And uh, so far as propane usage, doesn't seem to use much propane at all. But the best part is, I can go electric if I want. So when I set up my solar stuff, I can actually take that solar stuff and hook up the inverter right to this trailer and just run and set that up for electric and just run it off all electric if I want. So, anyhow, that's my fridge freezer review. I will have a second chest freezer later on because I'll have to store my elk and my deer and stuff like that in there because obviously that is not big enough. And then, uh, and then I was thinking a secondary, uh, a secondary fridge, not only as a backup, but also that is a small fridge and... I don't want to keep going in there for drinks 
It'd be nice to have a second one just for drinks and this one just for food. Now I know you're going to use up more power and all that stuff, but you know, you got to uh, you got to do what you got to do. I can keep opening and closing this door and use up power too. So it's uh so we'll see how it goes. I'll show you those that when it happens. But that's a skinny on that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you on the next video, Jeff with AZ Holstead fading out.